The US Navy achieved a pretty significant milestone on the 16th of December of 2025 when they did the first ever at sea launch of a low cost unmanned combat attack system, also known as a Lucas, which is a one way attack drone that's also known as a loitering munition. And they launched it from a warship for the very first time. Service members that were operating under Task Force 59, which is the Navy's unmanned systems integration unit, launched the Lucas from the flight deck of the Independence class littoral combat ship USS Santa Barbara. Barbara LCS-32 while it was transiting the Arabian Gulf, also known as the Persian Gulf. Now, the Lucas drone in this test belongs to Task Force Scorpion Strike, which is a newly established U.S. Central Command unit that was activated on December 3rd of 2025. And this is the U.S. military's first dedicated one-way attack drone squadron deployed to the Middle East to rapidly field affordable, scalable, unmanned strike capabilities and enhanced deterrence in the region. Now, this Lucas drone was developed by Arizona-based Spectreworks and is a modular, low-cost loitering munition reverse-engineered from Iran's Shahid-136, which has been made famous being used all over Ukraine and also being used on Israel during conflict in there and also in the, the Middle East broadly as a whole. It features the same Delta Wing design that the Shahid and the Jaren drones have, and it's about 10 feet long with an 8-foot wingspan using the same kind of robust components that the other ones do so that it can be produced in mass if need be. It's got an extensive range anywhere between like a 1,000 and 2,000 kilometers, although specific details has not been released because it's likely secret no foreign, so it's not going to be posted publicly on like Google or something like that. But it's capable of autonomous operation. It can be rocket assisted launched or catapult launched options, which is what you saw that white smoke. That's what that was. It was it's basically exhaust smoke from the rocket assisted takeoff booster or the Rado booster, which is a solid fuel rocket motor attached beneath the drone to provide the thrust needed for quick acceleration off the short deck. When I first saw this, I thought thought that it was like the dragon drones in Ukraine that dropped like white phosphorus or whatever, but that's not what this was. In any case, Vice Admiral Kurt Renshaw is the commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command, called it a significant milestone in delivering innovative, affordable capabilities to warfighters for enhanced maritime security and deterrence.